Ooh, there goes the revenge immediately using it off that dash attack. That's big damage coming through. Chase already sitting at 82%. Yeah, he's well, 115 off of that again. The revenge combo is coming through. Yeah, MRW is doing a great job of racking up the damage, but he's got to be careful around this percentage. You know, Chase can get one situation off stage and you know really close it out, and that's something that MRW has been doing a really good job at is uh, recoveries. Oh, the up smash out of shield with the buff as well. Dang, the cutscene to show it off to. Yeah, from the back at that too. Ooh, big damage, 41%. Tries to nail the uh, the jump there, but Chase coming up with an aerial. Oh, we got the psych up. Uh oh. Revenge uh -oh. lasting for that long? Yeah, and it, it, he revenged the psych up. Like that's the that's the scarier part. Oh, the up B, and that's gonna be the stock, and he doesn't have to worry about that buff, the buff up as well. From the Some really nice coverage. Yeah, yeah. Coming out from stuff. Chase, I mean, I, I didn't even know which way I was gonna have to attack. I thought he was getting sent out. Instead, he went inside. Ooh, he had like the read on the area, but. Okay. Ooh, yep, Darkest Lariat, such a good move. Ooh, getting the revenge on that, and of course, nine times out of ten, most Incineroar players will like go for an Alolan Whip right after a revenge, just because like it does so much damage. Yep. Especially. And the revenge buff is actually gone because of the fact that Chase ended up grabbing Incineroar after you do your throw. Uh, the, the buff's just gone and over. And there you have MRW again, just expecting some type of hit. It's not coming. He gets that grab and gets that up throw. Yeah. And that's something like, I, I really wish that the uh, the revenge buff wouldn't go away after getting grabbed. But I, I, at the same time, it would be kind of ridiculous if it didn't. Yeah, but here we go. And I think Incineroar is such a cool character. Like I, I remember back when, oh yeah, when the when the demo was out for everyone and we were all hitting up those kiosks. I, I definitely messed with Incineroar immediately. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, it's I, I definitely wanted to main Incineroar, but I mean I just like I, I've definitely played characters with bad recoveries, but oof, not to that <laughs> level, not to that degree. Yeah, I mean you played a spacey, so <laughs> you know I understand. Yeah. Bam, what are you doing here? Get out! This is our block. Yeah. Bam's chilling, bro. Look, there's enough. Wait, can if more people can? How much people can be in the spectators' net? Can there like be another? I'm role? pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we can Eight? sit on the second, the top spot too. Yeah. Oh dang! Nice. Look at that Nintendo being efficient with their space, bro. Mm -hmm. It just so uses more bandwidth. We ban might might cause the lag. Who? Knows? <laughs> Three, two, so MRW. A good fight. Okay, okay. We got some sportsmanship taunts coming out. Yeah, I feel like Chase has to be very careful of that revenge, especially on some of these projectiles too. That's uh, one thing that MRW's been getting a lot of mileage off, and he's he's got to figure out a way to get these offstage uh, these offstage games going, because that that's what's really hurting him. Man, MRW is essentially getting he's he's not, since he's not getting gimped, he's being able to utilize the fact that you know Incineroar is very heavy, so he's gonna live to you know, very high percent if you're not gimping it. Getting yeah. it like, and I think it's it really Chase is in a great spot to go ahead and put a lot of pressure off stage. I mean, he, he showed it earlier that he could just use that up B to send him off stage or even try to go for a possible stage uh, hit. To, to yeah, yeah, attack. I like that, man. I like that, I like that. But nonetheless... <laughs> Wait, who was that? That was definitely Bam. <laughs> Where did he go? He disappeared. What's going on? Back to the shadows. Oh, he, he tried to revenge it, but... Kaboom has such a like long animation, I guess, of hits. Oh, another up tilt on the platform. Yeah, I guess Chase did um, edge guard with that up beat. Oh, dang! <laughs> what are you grabbing? You're just you're hugging the air right now. I got the charge up and everything. Chase up by two stocks now. It's thirty percent off a of forward tilt alone. What? This is looking like a whole other chase right now. This is, he's just, MRW's been having trouble getting in. I, I feel like Chase is kind of waiting out some of these revenges now as well. He's spacing right outside of the grab range. And, you know, Incineroar has a pretty big grab range as well. Ooh, tried to set up the tornado, but really great recovery coming up from MRW. He kind of like angled it in too. Honestly, the biggest thing that I appreciate from Chase's hero is the fact that he's just using the instant fire right there. Cause he knows that he can just run up immediately after it to get a conversion. Right, and if you, if you're just trying to keep him over oh, the back, 
if you're just trying to keep them out, like maybe you don't want to throw out like crazy projectiles in the sense like of a big fireball. Because like, what if your revenge is the big fireball? You might yeah. just die in zero. Like, to an yeah, I mean, it's just enough to keep him in his tracks. Yeah. Okay, there's a forward air. Does he have a double jump? No, he doesn't. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say I think he double jumped in neutral there, and that is uh, yep, that's that's a center roar. I mean, that, I mean that's characters in general. If you double jump in neutral. That is the uh, the con of it. You know, if you do get hit out of it, then for the next situation of your recovery, you don't got that double jump. It's just a, a much bigger deal for Incineroar, you know, just because his uh, double jump is pretty much like a huge part of his recovery. Because he has no air mobility, you need the double jump to set up a situation where you can, you know, up the up to the ledge. Because that Alolan whip is so laggy. If, if, for the most part, like, someone should be able, like, be ready to, like, hit you out of the Alolan after you're done. Mm -hmm. But all right, here we go. We go to three. game three. Dude, uh, this is a, it's, been, uh, it's been a hot minute since we've had a game. Three. This might, honestly might have been the first one we had. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like I'm trying to remember <laughs> a game three, and it's nothing. Like nothing's coming to mind. No, nothing clicking. Nothing is clicking. But both these players are clicking on all cylinders. And let's see how it's going to be going here on Battlefield for Game 3. Okay, you're going to start start things off a little slower here. Um, I liked how Chase played it. He just essentially just kept the Incineroar out. And he, he actually killed Incineroar pretty early, especially with those up tilts on the platform tech chases. Because, um, I mean, like we said before, Incineroar is a pretty heavy character. I believe he's like top 5, top 6. He's definitely up there. Yeah, but now he does have to deal with <laughs> an up tilt. Eight by revenge. Ooh, oh. Oh, did he try to do it again? Yeah. Okay, it, but, but kaboom ended up eating it. Okay. I think I think what he's doing is he's he's like revenging too early because the wind box is you know what I'm saying like he's revenging oh, yeah, the yeah, wind yeah. box but not the explosion. I don't think revenge just I don't think revenge lasts that long. And I think like he's just, more time. He just doesn't have the buff anymore. It doesn't look like he has the revenge. Buff. Yeah, no, it's gone. Well, he ended up getting uh, a hit, so it's been gone. Oh, and he hasn't and he hasn't revenged it. Man, look at this, the directional air dodge, and there is the upbeat, but it hits him on stage here. Oh man, look at this, it's Sarah rocking the full range of tank, and this is the fear factor, especially in tournament, like... Oh, <gasps> back throw! That's dead. Just, yep. The, and, and the thing about, like, back throw actually is... The bait, wow. Oh, I guess he's at like 200. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Even the then, it was, just, back... it was the weak hit, too. <laughs> What, the thing that makes Incineroar's back throw really strong is the base knockback. The knockback growth is actually not that great on that move. So when you have rage, it's actually better like to get the kill at like 90 or you know, 100 with the max rage right by the edge. Yeah. Just because it, it's the base knockback is what's strong about that. But here we have it. Very even percents now for MRW and Chase. Uh, really just scrapping at one another. Chase doesn't really have too much mana, so he has to, you know, play it a little smart right now. Yeah, maybe a little bit more sword moves. You have the disjoints to keep the center out there and there are very, very solid. That yeah, well. and and really he's, he's managing his MP really well because he's only using the light versions of of the fire or even just the lightning. And But he ends up spending the zoom here. Oh, the alone wow. whip almost online, but there goes the forward smash to take it away for MRW. Yeah, and Chase wanted to come in with a dash tech. Maybe he thought he was going to sidestep or spot dodge there, but uh, came in with the foot, and now Incineroar has all the momentum. Ooh! A tipper forward smash just takes him off the right side. Wow, that was, he was at 50. He's at 50. And Yo, we're that's why, that's why Incineroar got the belt. He is the champ. The champ, dude. And, like, that's 